Hey, I'm back. I just wanted to wish everybody, all the dads out there and all the uh, dads who are dads even when they're, it's um, not their natural ch children, which is amazing. Uh, we don't want to wish you all a very happy Father's Day and good on you for being a good dad. So we got um, some video of Fort Erie coming up. Hope you enjoy it and uh, have a great day. All right, so we have some video hopefully for you today in Fort Erie, Ontario. I'm gonna take a drive and I think I've got it mounted in the car nicely. So let's take a run. So we're heading on Garrison Road, which is the main road in Fort Erie, Highway 3 it's called. There's no cars coming and it's early on a Sunday morning. And we're heading down to Old Town, or old, the older part of Fort Erie, which used to be the old downtown. I don't know if there's a new downtown, but this is where we're going. So far, it's quiet, but it's going to get really warm today. I understand it's supposed to get to 27 Celsius. Which is in the mid set, the high 70s or close to 80. And with the sun, it'll feel warmer than that. So we're driving along Highway 3 here, and you can sort of see some of the sights. Not that there's a lot of sights quite at this moment. Everyone's having a good Sunday so far. So far, it's nice and sunny, not a lot of clouds, and like I said, it's supposed to be warm. So we'll see. Now we're passing Walmart on the left. You probably can't see it, but it's already open and people are already going, so it's good. Lights of your church, never been. On the right, we have a Jeep dealership, Dodge Jeep Ram. There's uh, another car, used car on the left hand side of the street. Still a fair amount of construction going on in town. Now, on the left, you have Money Mart, and there's a travel agency and Pizza Hut. And of course, you have mall where there's Dollarama. On the right we have M&J's restaurant where they put roasted chicken. And there's a Sobeys on the left and the Shoppers Drug Mart. On the right you have Rexall, Chuck's Roadhouse, nice place to go eat meals. On the left you have McDonald's. And there's a lot of on the right, and I think I've gone through this in previous videos, but you got uh, tender cuts if you want to have, uh, if you want to buy some cuts of meat. On the left is Subway, on the right was Canadian Tire, then the Barrel Restaurant, which people like. And you can sort of see in the distance there, the Peace Bridge Arch. I try to do this quiet on a Sunday morning because people are not as out driving, but there's always somebody beautiful morning to be out for sure.
And just ahead, you can't see it for the van, but I'll we'll slow down here while he goes, if he ever does. You can see that down there is the border area, and there's the buildings for the border facilities. go slowly along here. This is Central Avenue. was just hovering behind me so I decided to let them go, go by. They're gonna go down Central Avenue. They're sort of heading now towards the older part of Fort Erie. And you'll sort of see what I'm referring to. In a minute we're just about to cross Birdie Street. If you go left along Birdie up here towards the racetrack, the hospital's there as well. On the right, we just pass Remax Realty. The residential neighborhood, it's very quiet. So we're not in the old part of town yet. We still have a little drive to do that. So I'm going to slow down. It's a 40 kilometer speed limit here. It's very slow, but we just don't want to have a problem. It's because it's a school zone coming up. There's a church on the right. It looks like a Catholic church, I believe. starting to again once we pass here we're going to start and on the right you got the Fort Erie Public Library I think this is their main branch I don't know how many branches they have but I've gone here a couple of times you can see how quiet it is this time of day on a Sunday morning I don't know if the library, oh, they're the hours, so they're not open on Sundays. They're open Monday to Wednesday, 9.30 to 5, Thursday, 2 to 6, and Saturday, 9.30 to 2. And on the left, looks like tennis courts, maybe. Yeah, there's some tennis courts, I expect. If they haven't already started to get used, FortEarieTennis.ca is the website on the left there, just as we pass Gilmore on Central. On the right, there's a railway museum and a central fire station for town. That's very nice. I don't think I've ever been past it. I may have probably driven past it, but I just don't recall. Then we're coming up to a light. This is uh, Winter Mute. On the left, you have a, a collision place. And I believe that there's a um, Salvation Army facility where you can donate if you choose. Now, coming across this bridge, and on the right there's a Pentecostal church. Across this bridge is where the old part of Fort Erie really is, and we'll sort of see a little bit of it as we drive through. I'm going to try to take it slow, but depending on other drivers. So we're coming up to Jarvis Street, which is, like I said, used to be the old downtown. North End Diner here. I didn't see this before, so we'll take a right here and we'll take a look at some of the old area here. There's the banks and a lot of tourists come down here who come to this area. You can see the lake right at the end of the road. Just trying to take it easy. All some older cars, which are cool. It says 24 hour fitness, but I'm not 100% sure about that. And on the right here is a post office. 
the Fort Erie main branch of the post office on the right hand side just beside me here. Um, we have a Fort Erie this thrift store on the left. Um, like I said, it's good to be able to drive when it's quiet, nobody's really around. So let me just roll the window down here. Coming up to the water, and you can already see people congregating down by the lake here. So I'll drive down through. Oh, that's quick. Cool. I'm gonna watch this bird. Oops. Uh, it looks like they still have some barriers in place. And there's some people fishing down there. Really nice. This is just one little parking area. So, just thought I'd stop in here for a second. I said this is Old Town. I'm not sure if these are locals or visitors, but this road here is Niagara River Parkway. It goes all the way to the falls and probably farther. We'll start driving around this area so you can sort of see some of the the different uh, sites of the older area. This is Dufferin Street, it's a fairly well-known street here in town. They have just waiting for this gentleman to to, to cross or cross over. See, it's pretty casual sometimes, but there's not a lot of, I think a lot of people are buying in this area because it's, the prices are so much better, um, but honestly the homes are much older. It looks like there's some... facilities like this for mixing cars. On the left here is an M&M food market. One of those older cars is right behind me. So if he comes by, I'll pull over and let him pass and so we can sort of see him drive by. like a tour of Fort Erie this morning. And this is the older part, still nice, just not as new as say Crescent Park is the section I live in. This is Robinson Street, there's a little park building there. Just being careful, make sure, even though there's not a lot of people out, you never know who's going to be coming around the corner. It's going really slow taking a look at what's out there. Some, uh, obviously some kids were playing some basketball. You can see the basketball net on the right there. The roads are pretty good. Now they're not all, in this area, they're not all, not all the roads are great. So this is Crook Street, again, another area, another street that's considered to be Old Town. Maybe I'll go down this way, just take a drive through. I'm just going to pull over for just a second here. All right. I'll take a left here on Phipps Street, again, another Old Town street. There's somebody coming up behind so I'll just pull over and let them go by. Well, I've 
never heard of Dodd's Way, but that's the street. Now the speed limit here is pretty high. Well, it's higher, it's 60. So we'll speed it up again so we don't have somebody coming up on us real quick. And we will roll up the window. You can see some of the scenery in town. So we're outside of town. It's really outside of the central area of town now. So we're coming up, I believe there's a railway tunnel that you gotta go under here as we turn up Thompson Road. Thompson Road takes us up to Walmart again. Yeah. There's, here's the sort of the underpass here. You can see the train above, or could, yeah, I think you might have been able to see it. Yeah. service computer service shop there bridge street it looks like it was dead end but i would have to go down to see for sure yeah it's nice and older but still nice so we're sort of i think we're sort of now coming out of the older area jarvis street was the is the big section where people like to go and just sort of putter around and take a look at the shops and that and i expect the shops will be open later and sure people will be mask wearing which they finish at this point they should and yeah so we're gonna head up to Walmart you can sort of see and I think on the left here is the new police station it's not brand new anymore but it's been it's hard to see but it looks like it's been around for a while now yeah that's it over there and we got somebody walking here so we'll have to be cautious Left is where the horses and different uh, uses for the racetrack, the horse racing track. It's a pretty famous racetrack in Canada. And we're just coming past where you get onto the highway to go either to the right, you go to Toronto, and on the left, um, it takes you in town, but as you keep driving, you have an opportunity to head towards the United States border, but at this point, the U.S. border is close to non-essential travel, so not a lot of people going across. Uh, obviously, business still happens. So yeah, so that's a little bit of a uh, little bit of that. Well, why don't I just drive in and? So sort of take a quick look here. So this is the mall where we have no frills and Walmart. Uh, and in separate buildings here, you have the LCBO, which is for alcohol, liquor, and that kind of thing. Ahead is the no frills. So I'll just move this way. And then just past that is Walmart. Which I will turn down towards in a second. So on the left, coming up here, is Scotia Bank. So you can get these a bank machine or during the week. I think it's open Monday to Friday right now. Hopefully it'll start opening Saturday again. So let me go in here and then we'll just turn around and so you can sort of see. So you got the Scotia Bank here. Obviously nobody here at the moment. The LCBO is still down there. We already passed it. And then right ahead is Walmart. I won't be shopping 
least at the moment. But it is a little bit of what the town's about. So let me stop it here and hope you enjoyed the little driving tour of Fort Erie. Any questions, comments, please let me know. And if there's something that I didn't go by, I'm sure there is. There's plenty of things here in town that I'm not even aware of, even though I've been here many years. Um, please ask and I will definitely be happy to take a look and explore. Um, please, uh, I've got a, a small amount of people subscribed, so if you feel like, if you're watching this and you have never subscribed, please do. If you have any, if you're curious about anything in the Niagara region, I'm happy to go take a look at most of it, unless I have to do a lot of physical labor, and then I'll probably pass on that. <laughs> um, wish you a great weekend, rest of the weekend, and I will talk to you later. Bye.